everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today, Dragon Plague Carriers and Armor. This right here being the SKD Tactical Brigandine, or Brig. Taking a step back, why do we want plate carrier and ballistic plates? Totally depends. Maybe professionally, you actually need them for your job. Maybe you want to go do things like maybe the tactical games where you are required to have them to compete or maybe kind of view it like a fire extinguisher. Probably don't need it, but if you do need it, it'd be pretty nice to have on hand. Number of different reasons. This particular set I ended up actually getting to run in the tactical games. The first one I ran, which was late 2018 up in North Carolina, but I will go over all the different components of this and then tell you how it's done for me. The brig is comprised of two different plate bags. This one right here is the front. Up here we have our cummerbund secured with Velcro and cummerbund has elastic in it, which is really important. I'll touch on that more later. Right here, these two straps, these are actually your adjustment straps. They are part of this front plate bag and they run back go through here, loop back, and then you can size them and secure them right here up front. As far as your rear plate bag, they make some different ones. This one happens to have molly across here, as well as Velcro fields in the back. And then this is also kind of incorporated or part of their Sistema. So there's a number of different add-on pieces to include these shoulder pads right here which you can undo these Velcro pieces, take them off, adjust them, and then depending, you can actually buy these right here. These are pontoons, that's what they're called. And inside of both plate bags, you have this strip of female Velcro. These will peel off and you can put them on there. Right here, they're just set on the back plate bag. You can obviously put them on the front or run them without them. Then to access, pull this down you can pull our plate out this right here is cut specifically for this these plates right here are made for skd tactical and i will touch on these more in a minute one thing i do want to say though with respect to the plate bags on the brig is their size specifically for the plates that you are going to get or that you should get rather in that these are sized differently for different plates, which is really nice because once you put the appropriate plate inside of them, there's no wiggle room, it doesn't move around, and it doesn't slip down. And that is super important with respect to actually wearing body armor correctly. Quick side note with respect to properly wearing your plates. If you're out there playing around LARPing, it doesn't really matter if you actually are wearing these because you don't want to die killed in the streets you probably want to wear them properly so to that end what we're looking for with our plates is to cover the vital parts that being said plates you want them up high so put this guy on we want there's this little notch up here at the top of your sternum want to make sure that plate is at least up there or as kind of a something to just like easy metric, I guess, tuck your chin, be able to touch the top of your plate. Reason being, this is covering all of the vitals up there, lungs, heart, stuff like that. What about my stomach? I don't want to get shot in the stomach, but you can get shot in the stomach. And typically it can go a lot longer than if you get shot through the lung or your heart. So want the plates as high as possible, which will actually protect our vitals. Real quick, gonna touch on armor. As I said, plate bags are actually sized for your plates. So whether it's these, the SKD Tactical 10x12, I believe Velocity Systems 10x12, ESAPI, or TAP Gamma, I think is the other plate supported. The plate bags size specifically for the plates. Why is that important? Well, when you put this in, it's nice and snug. So when you adjust it, it actually protects your vitals which is a good thing. If you have a plate bag that isn't sized for your plates, it's all sloppy in there, usually it will slide down. And now, kind of almost no matter what, you can adjust it up high enough to actually 
give you the protection you need with ballistic plates. These right here are standalone level four. They're made for SKD Tactical by Tin Kate Advanced Armor USA, I believe it is. And they're not NIJ certified. What does that mean? Well, NIJ is the certification for ballistic plates. They have a whole process of testing. They say, yes, this is level three, level four, or whatever it may be. And these don't have that stamp of approval. They are actually third party tested the exact same test protocols. So yes, this is a level four standalone. Doesn't have that stamp, golden stamp of approval. What does it mean? What it means is they can bring you these at a lower price point because that testing is crazy expensive. So these plates individually, about 200 bucks. And as I mentioned, level four, what do we got? Special threat testing up to 7.62 by 63 M2 armor piercing. So one might want to get shot with that round, but this will stop that. As I mentioned, about 200 bucks, not the lightest. They're a single curve, about six and a half, six and three quarter pounds, but pretty good price point for standalone level four. Having said all that, what has been my experience with this SKD Tactical Brig? Well, my first experience was competing in the tactical games in 2018 down in North Carolina. And then again, with the same carrier in Mississippi in 2019. Through that, it did a good job for me. I like the fact that it is slick. You can, of course, kind of scale it up with that addition of that three mag shingle across the front. But depending on what you're doing i would much rather start with a slick plate carrier and scale it rather than having molly everywhere and pouches you can't configure so i did appreciate that part of it i did use the back a little bit for whatever reason i think when we went to go weigh in it was like just shy of 15 pounds set up as it is so i ended up putting a little blue force gear i think 10 speed mag pouch on the back threw a magazine in there to make weight for that first tactical games. Um, in the games, it did good for me. It's pretty low profile. As I mentioned, the elastic cummerbund is, or cummerbund rather, is huge. Being able to breathe and have this thing flex, especially that first games in North Carolina. Surprise, five mile run, full kit. And that was a long time running with us. Was it comfortable? No. Was it uncomfortable because of the carrier? No, it was uncomfortable because you're running five miles in a carrier. It absolutely was pretty comfortable, especially the addition of these shoulder pads. I think it's really nice. If you're just playing on the range or whatever, or for that matter, you just get called out, something short term, relatively. Probably doesn't matter, but these are definitely nice. The pontoons, also nice addition. Again, depending on your use, how long you're going to be wearing it. Probably should have got a second pair to put on the front, but just had them on the back. Definitely comfortable. Overall, it did a, did a good job for me in both those different tactical games. If you're interested in picking this stuff up, you can do so over at SKD Tactical. And you can either buy it a la carte, such as like the actual carrier itself. About 90 bucks, comes in different colors. Ranger green, black, multi-cam, and coating. Then if you want the plates, you can get, of course, plate bags specifically for whatever plates you get. These ones, $200 a piece per plate. The shoulder pads would be 30 bucks. Pontoons, 20 bucks for a set. And then if you want this three mag carrier up front, I believe that's about 50 bucks but you can actually get it as a set. So everything here minus this three mag carrier for 480 bucks, which if you just get the carrier and two plates, you're already ahead of the game. It also comes of course with the shoulder pads and a set of pontoons. Pretty good deal for the money, but if you end up picking out some up and you have experience with it, let me know how it's done for you. One thing I will say, not specific to this, but just in general, is with exposed Velcro, a little bit of maintenance. If you are crawling around in mud, something like that, Velcro does not want to stick. 
when it's full of mud, so just something to be aware of. But overall, pretty good plate carrier, especially at the price point, like turnkey, 480 bucks, standalone level four plates. But if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Number of ways to do it. One, whether it's just liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, pick up stickers, KBAT target pads, any of that stuff, shirts through Teespring, or if you want to support me directly over at Patreon. All of it helps me get out, create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.